Hey there, my friends. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here today is a new tent from Lightfighter. Yes, Lightfighter, the same company that makes the Catamount, the individual shelter. It's the same company that makes the Dragoon. This company is known as being a military contractor for the U.S. government, but recently they started a civilian line of products. And that's basically what we have here. In a nutshell, the company's taken their military tents and created a civilian line. There's some minor differences. It's a little bit less expensive, but for the most part, it's the same shelter. What I have here in my hands is what the company calls the Fido 2. I'm sure you're wondering, what does Fido mean? Go back to the old military tent, the pup tent. This is basically a play on word sort of thing. This is the Fido, the next generation military tactical shelter. Speaking of the military tent, that this is based upon. I have reviewed previously the Light Fighter Individual Shelter System along with the Cold Weather Kit. With those two products combined, in my opinion, you have one of the best tent shelter systems out on the market. You have a tent that can be used in the warmer months. You take the Cold Weather Kit, you add it on, all of a sudden it converts that tent into a fourth season tent. And it's unlike anything else that's out on the market today. I know that sounds like a sales pitch, but folks, it's not. Watch my videos, check out the reviews. You can see these products in action they work, and I say what I'm saying for a reason. So with that being said, the Fido is based upon the military design, and it includes everything. Now, I should say this, everyone. This is the Fido two-person AI. What does AI stand for? That stands for all in. The company has different packages out there. So they have a Fido one-person, a Fido two-person. They have a Fido one-person AI. They have a Fido two-person AI. AI. The AI again stands for all in and basically that means that you are getting everything that could come with this setup. You get the tent, you get the fly, you get the cold weather kit, you get the snow anchors, you get a ground sheet, and you also receive this storage bag. I believe the company calls this the tough sack. You have two compression straps, you have some webbing on this. It's a very burly system. Let's go ahead and do a component breakdown and let's start by taking a look here at the tough sack. I mentioned before they have multiple compression straps and you do. You have all of this webbing, you have webbing on the front, you have drainage holes in the bottom, you have a front compartment here which houses the aluminum poles. Also in this smaller pocket we have four guy lines, we have four sand and snow anchors, we have a repair kit, we have six tent stakes, and we have a pole repair sleeve. I was about to go to the main portion of this and this zipper pull has come undone. And now that I'm taking a closer look at these, just about every single one of these corded pools are in pretty poor shape. Personally, I'm not a fan of corded pools like this. Those that are tied in a knot at the end, they have a tendency to come undone as you see here. And this is something that you will have to continue to mess with over and over and over while you have this product. It is the smallest of issues, but it's one that you will have to address periodically. Going to the main compartment of this, this is the cold weather kit. This is the tent inner and a ground sheet together. And this is the fly. I'm sure you've noticed I have two ground sheets on the ground, even though this tent includes one. And that's because this place is a mud hole right now. So I'm going to do everything in my power to keep this tent dry and clean. As you can see there, folks, the inner tent has been set up. You can see how the pole itself spiders over the tent. With this tent, you have a ton of mesh along with a bathtub floor. You have two doors, one on this side, one on the other side. With the doors, you have two-way zippers. And check this out. You can take the door and completely stow it out of the way. Getting inside of this tent is rather easy. You have mesh pockets in each of the corners. You also have the two mesh pockets up at the top of the tent for storing of the door or other gear. Now, my friends, we have what is called the cold weather kit, and this is a very impressive add-on for this tent. 
In the description box down below, you will find my full review for the cold weather kit. This really is an incredible add-on for this tent that takes it from a three season shelter to a fourth season shelter. In this episode, I'm not going to take the time and put this on, but I will tell you what the purpose of this is and basically how it works. With a typical four season tent, you have a fabric inner you do not have a mesh inner like this. When you have a tent that's covered in mesh, it's all about airflow. It's all about staying cool. Mesh is designed to allow a breeze to come inside of the tent so it cools you down, and it's also designed to release the heat that you're generating inside of that tent. When it comes to a high quality four season tent, you do not want those characteristics. You do not want to feel the outside air. You don't want to feel the wind. You want to hold in as much heat as possible so you can stay warmer. That's where this product comes in. This is something that I'm surprised that other companies haven't copied because it's that good. The cold weather add-on with the tent it offers a complete camping setup, something that you can use year round. In the summertime, you're gonna stay nice and cool. In the wintertime, you're gonna stay warmer. And again, everyone, this is included with the Fido AI systems. You have the one person and the two person. If you buy the Fido one person or two person, that's the non AI version, you do not get this, but you can purchase it separately if you want to. Now, my friends, let's put the fly on this tent and let's go over some stats. The tent is now fully set up minus the cold weather kit. Again, this tent has two doors. I went ahead and zipped one back. You have a storm flap that goes over the zippers. And this is a large storm flap. It's about three inches wide. That's impressive. When it comes to staking the tent out, you stake at the doors, in the corners. Unfortunately, there's no way to stake out the front or the back. I'm sure you're wondering why this is unfortunate, and that's because of airflow. Since there is no way to pull the fly away from the body, there's very little separation here. In the warmer months, you're not going to have as good of airflow as you could have. In the wintertime, this is going to be of a benefit because it holds in more heat, but in the summertime, it's definitely a con. With each of the doors, they can be fully rolled back and tied off, giving you access to the front of the tent. And then you have the vestibules, and they are huge. You could fit quite a bit of gear inside of these if you need to or if you want to. The weight of the Fido two-person AI version, it's hefty, 9.9 .9 pounds. Let's say that you wanna go as lightweight as possible. You can get the weight down to roughly six pounds with the tent inner, the fly, the poles, and the stakes. The pack dimensions, 19 inches by eight inches. When the shelter is all set up, it's 90 inches long, 56 inches wide, and it has a peak height of 41 inches. When it comes to the materials for this setup, you have a combination of 70 denier nylon, along with 30 denier nylon, along with the 500 denier for the tough sack. When comparing the Fido tents to their military variants, these are around $50 less expensive. Of course, we're talking about full retail price. If you go out looking for military surplus, you can find at least the one-person tent at a substantial discount. I've personally never seen a two-person military variant for sale. While touching upon the stats, let's go over cost. And let's go over the cost for all four versions. The Fido one-person, that is $355. The Fido two-person, that's just the tent, $455. The Fido AI one person, $455. The Fido two person AI is $585. When it comes to the shelter system, there's multiple ways that you can set this up. You can set it up with the inner tent by itself and use a tarp. You can set it up with the inner tent and a fly just like this. You can set it up with the inner tent, the cold weather kit, and a fly. And you can also set this up in a way that the company calls the hasty hooch. Basically, it's the ground sheet, the poles and the fly with no tent inner. And I guess you could set it up with the inner and the cold weather kit without the fly if you want. My friends, if you don't mind, take a second and hit the like button. It does help the channel. It helps with the algorithm and all that good stuff. It's a great way to support the Outdoor Gear Review, which is agenda free. With this tent being based upon the military version, let's talk about the differences between the two. For the most part, these are the exact same tents. But to get some clarification about this, I did contact Light Fighter, and this is what they had to say. This is our new commercial line called the Fido Series. These tents are the same design and materials as the existing US-made military Light Fighter tents. The purpose of the Fido Series is to supplement the supply of the Light Fighter line of US-made tents. The demand from the military is currently consuming all of our manufacturing capacity of US made tents and the Fido series is for customers who do not require the berry compliant tents. The primary difference in the Fido series is the pole set. These are made overseas. 
not in China. The sewing and the assembly of these tents takes place overseas as well. While these tents are designed in the U.S. and the fabrics and materials are U.S. made, they are assembled and packaged overseas. Every version of the civilian tent, the Fido, comes with a ground sheet. They go on to say that the tent stakes are different as well as the grommets on the inner tent and the fly. Just in case you're wondering what Barry compliant is, I'll tell you. The Barry Amendment Compliance is a federal regulation that requires Department of Defense funds to be spent on U.S. manufactured items in order to protect the United States industrial market during times of war. In other words, folks, to be Barry compliant, the products have to be made in the U.S. After setting up this tent and looking at it, and also comparing it with my experiences from the military version, I see very little differences here. The differences that are present are so minor, they really don't matter. The biggest one, of course, is it's made overseas. With the Fido series, I really do like what I see here. You get every single component. You get the tent for three season use. You get the cold weather system for four season use. A big question that I have though, is this waterproof? Together, we will find this out. As soon as possible, we will take the system out together and we will waterproof test this. The biggest issue that I see with the Fido AI system is the weight. 9.9 .9 pounds for a three season to four season tent. Even for a four season tent for a two person, that's quite a bit of weight. In the end, when it comes to the light fighter military tents, I absolutely love them. They have truly impressed me. The cold weather kit is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Again, if you have any questions about that, check out my review. I also have videos on the setup process for the tent. I have waterproof tests. I have adventures in the snow, in the wind. I really do like the light fighter military tents. They have earned my trust. They've earned my praise. And I hope that the Fido series does the same. Ultimately, we will find out together. Light Fighter, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you add the ability to pull the flyaway at the front and back of the tents. You're going to increase airflow substantially, and that's going to benefit the soldier and also the civilian in the warmer months. I'm done for now, folks. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Again, hit the like button before you go. Consider subscribing if you like. You will see in the future adventures with this tent. And in the end, I will pass on my review of this shelter, which is going to be completely agenda-free, just like every review that I do. This channel is about information. It's not about persuading you to purchase something. I get no money from that. I don't care if you buy anything that you see in my videos at all. That is agenda free. All right, folks, I'm done. Take care. Be well.